of sun crave you salve to soothe the ache fire to sear the wound in your heart thank you for that uh we'll get started here just a bit we're just kind of like settling in real quick here but uh thank you Rand, for the wreaths up tier two no less thank you for that and 17 months three no you guys are muted you can stay you can keep talking <laughs> all right we'll be starting here shortly we're just getting settled Sorry, fixing my webcam, the one that Rin got me, that decided to turn itself on and activate and spin in different directions, thinking I'm over here when I'm not. Uh, welcome to Chaotic Call. My name is Starwin. We're here to play some D&D &D tonight. And, uh, this is a uh, Ivan Air campaign. The Ivan Air campaign was put on hold due to a lack of interest, but, you know, there are still people who want to play. And I did make a promise. That once the Christmas holidays started rolling around, we would revisit Ivan Air Campus once more. Because when we left off, we were buying Jubilee gifts for each other. Uh, mm -hmm. We've been uh, mm -hmm. exasperating our intents of enjoying the holiday of the of the year. But uh, I guess we will go around the table. Let's see here. What should we say? Like, is it the day before Jubilee and all through the campus? all these students were doing stuff and it was making quite a racket dear hoover was mad hooting with fear every time he fell there was a great big cheer at any rate <laughs> i got a different one for you guys later but uh we're gonna go ahead and consider it to be like um i don't know you guys want to start is there a certain time you guys want to start this like maybe 4 p.m and then work our way to the evening to where you might be exchanging at that point or like uh, how should we set this scene yeah i think we should uh start earlier in the day so like four or do you want it earlier than that mm. i think i'm fine with uh, yeah, yeah four is well, like anything around... yeah okay so there we go we got we got a set time so uh basically what we're doing is um you still have like homework assignments that you have to get done during the holidays so people like Lindsay and the more astute of you might be here in the library some of you are here not to do your homework but to be with the people that you want to be around 
and uh, we'll just kind of like use like one of the study halls in the uh, dormitories as our stage for now. Uh, as we zoom in on a crisp afternoon, light snow falling in Ulu Badak, the holiday spirit of Jubilee decorating the city in tinsel and mistletoes and all kinds of uh, ferny wreaths and jubilee trees or what have you all waiting for the great jubilee to come and give gifts to those who are good adventurers so none of you are getting gifts uh silver is an agent of chaos i've i've yeah, been true. knew that yeah yeah so this is why this is why you have to give yourself gifts because yeah all right but anyway uh as we kind of like zoom in we see a fire in a fireplace maybe and uh, a soft hint of cocoa hit in the air with like hot chocolate and marshmallows being added Lindsay taking a sip robot taking a sip greta having a seat taking a sip i think ajax was offering to help greta with the project if i recall correctly indeed he was yeah yeah let's see even i have a vague memory that comes back every now and then Oh, I hope Zymers ain't got me yet, boys and girls. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go from left to right and let you guys reintroduce yourselves for those who aren't here. I'm just going to go ahead and delete those who are not. It's unfortunate. I think this is everybody right here, though, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right, cool, cool, cool. Wait, where is... Uh, oh, so is Sounds right about there. right. You're looking for Grace, and he's just kind of like, you know, he, he's away from the group. You know how he is. He's a loner. Mud, uh, but, hello. Mud. I just deleted your token. Why are you coming in now? <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave. Sorry, Star. No, no, you, no you, can, you can you can be here. You can be here. Hello. Welcome in. Yay. Welcome in. Just, just drag your token back over. At any rate, as we are getting started here, guys, we're gonna go from left to right. Let everybody introduce their characters. You can tell us what you look like, what you're playing as, one last time for the audience. Well, maybe not the last time, but this is definitely a holiday event for you guys. So, Charlie, Charlie, lead off and show show us how it's done. Charlie, Charlie is real night hobgoblin. She has a very happy spirit. <laughs> she has the tread of that looming me over her head, and she's just like. I sure hope nothing bad happens to me or my kind on this beautiful day. Yeah, anyway, no, Greta, yeah. how are you guys doing with the home of work? The home of work? <laughs> <laughs> Go be a true foreigner. Uh, with that being said, well, Mud, are you here? Let's get your token on the field. Or do you need a moment? Are you muted? There. Oh, there you are, Mud. Tell us what you look like. I am guys. back. Um, well, I am Mud, and if my character sheet will open, I'll remember this game. Okay, in this one, I am playing a Path of the Beast Barbarian, I'm Dragonborn, um, and I am sitting at the table here, stirring a bucket of mud. Of course you are. Why wouldn't you be? All right, Jerry, welcome back. Hey, what's up? What's up? Sorry. Uh, Gerald is a gnome arcane trickster. He has uh, 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 orange hair, uh, green eyes. Uh, he's definitely like still very, very uh, stuck up, very nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sorry I'm just describing very. Did did I miss something here? What 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 game are we in again? Continue your thoughts. Yeah. Sorry. Very stuck uh, up. Is that what you meant? Yeah, suck up. I me, mean, you. Oh, he sucks up. Okay, get, yeah. anyway, he's not stuck up. Yeah. He sucks up. Yeah, yeah you're, you're, you're get, definitely yeah, triggering like, rapture I... in my inner mind here. You know that, right? And she's over mm -hmm. there. You can just hear her with bated breath wanting to say something. <laughs> You know, ah, silence is yeah. golden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's continue that for a moment. I'm sorry, didn't mean to interrupt there, Jerry. What else you got? He did. Uh, he, he will try to get anyone's anyone's best side if it suits him. 
in, in reality, he's an inside. He's kind of a jerk a bit. And he's uh, looking for the Jubilee's gifts. The mm. festival for potential with, like, uh, napping. I mean, like, uh, grabbing. Well, you do know that Jubilee doesn't give you gifts unless you're sleeping, right? Mmm. Yeah, it's just like Santa Claus. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, this is just the uh, uh, Elsberry version of Christmas. Or, you know, the if you're a bad adventure, he gives you molten rocks. Yeah, <laughs> he waits for you to wake up so he can touch it and lose a hand. Uh, Alright, with that being said, we move on to Silver's. All right. Silver Snowdrift is a six foot tall Tabaxi Dragon Ascendant or Ascendant Dragon Monk. He has white fur with silvery white stripes. It, he is our favorite tiger boy. And he is currently writing a love letter to his wife. Neat. And then we have the one, the only, Ajax. Ajax Blackheart. Uh, Ajax was a half-orc conquest paladin who, after dying and returning, uh, was reincarnated as a gnome conquest paladin. He does not have the muscles he used to have, but he can swing an axe and take a hit. And before and you, oh, sorry, you... go ahead, finish. He is, he is currently uh, trying to help Greta with her homework and is failing miserably. Yeah, which probably means she's going to fail miserably whenever it gets turned in. Uh, with that being said, I shall introduce you to the NPCs. We have Grayson, who is an artificer. He is a human, very stuck up, not to be suck up. He is uh, very to himself most of the time, but unless you start talking to him about his uh, inventions or his tinkering stuff, uh, he barely acknowledges what's going on around him. We have Greta, our arm wrestling, well, I would love to say champion, but just like the beauty contest, everything's rigged. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Greta is a red-headed dwarf, as you can see, and... Um, it's just staring at the papers like triangles are turning into circles and circles are turning into rectangles. She's, she's getting blurry vision and hearing words that she doesn't get from Ajax. But hey, she's trying, right? Then we got Robot, who also must be writing a letter back home. Uh, she is a red-haired human dressed in her dark clothing that represents House of the Moon. And... Uh, Oh, yeah, I forgot to do that. I'll get back to that in a second. And, uh, yeah, she, um, she is a pivotal to the, anyway, moving on. Lindsay, a porcelain white colored humanoid figure of sorts who carries around a violin case everywhere she goes. Uh, she has auburn hair, uh, kind of like brownish to reddish tint. And, uh, she sits here like what were we doing Charlie just we're helping them with the homework you know how it is yeah she just signs to you like it's a lost cause <laughs> no I, I sure they can learn we had to have hope I, I mean it's not even that complicated At if you look here the answer is clearly rabbit what no it, it's house volcano <laughs> House I'm Volcano. Uh, Char Charlie looks over <laughs> there, over their House shoulders, the and uh, tries to figure out the answer, which you can do pretty easily. It's just too I mean, yeah. No, I oh. meant look over their shoulders because it's oh. a dwarf and a gnome. <laughs> She's like, guys, hmm? that's you're both wrong. But no, see, the answer is clearly uh, 273. Look, I was never right to begin with, so whatever. <laughs> Greta just stares at the uh, array of formulas. Like, yeah, it has to be something like algebra or something, right? Yeah. Like, how yeah, am I no, even going to use this in combat? Look, all I know is if I hit them harder than they hit me, they go down before I do. Isn't that how that works? Yeah, I, I mean, know, it, right? I mean yeah, that's my it? entire thing. Yeah, I was fucking. Oh, yeah. High five. <laughs> I clap. Charlie just <laughs> looks confused for a second and then turns to Lindsay. We are supposed to get hit in combat. 
uh well, I duh, if you're on the front line like a good person who protects the back line from getting hit. don't you know formations no i know i just not used to getting hit <laughs> I, I didn't know it was a thing you, you were supposed to do. I thought it was, I, like, I, optional. I, I, I feel like there's a fourth wall that you're trying to break. <laughs> I thought that was <laughs> optional. Did you, Did you say I thought that was optional? I thought it was optional to get hurt in combat. I come to find out it was an Ajax option. Just... I just got really lucky. How? Ajax looks uh, behind him. Wait, that was an option this whole time? I, I mean, I thought so, but I guess I was wrong. I guess I was doing combat wrong, guys. Sorry. Well, here's here's a hint. <laughs> the best defense is kill them before they can go on the offense. Yeah, that's. Oh no! Yeah, I, I, yeah, I can do that too. All right, then. There's no. Th she writes that down as the answer. <laughs> Clearly, no, it's not. Yeah, it's not. It's not going to be the right answer. But hey, maybe the teacher will give her points. Who knows? Listen, I with this, I don't need a defense. And he pulls out his oversized axe. <laughs> yeah, that nearly falls on top of you because now you're a gnome. <laughs> um, I have to hold it with two hands sometimes, but uh, it's still fair. That's that's yeah, amazing. You got this. <laughs> guys, but guys, you, you guys shouldn't worry. Yeah, you guys shouldn't worry. The, the homework is actually pretty easy. If only this yeah. was optional, she says. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm really into homework. See, look it over. He hands you his homework. She just none starts of copying your papers. <laughs> yep, she starts copying your papers. She's definitely going to get an F. It's obvious. No, Charlie just looking over then, like the, uh, their homework. She's like, oh. It's obvious wow. he skimmed. Uh, it's obvious for the multiple choice questions, he just guessed, and for the written questions, he either skipped them or put a random answer. Yeah, she takes a moment and sees one of the answers. She's like, what do you mean, corn? That has nothing what? to do with corn. what was said here. <laughs> praise, praise corn. No, no. It asks, who was the goddess of the sea, and you put corn. That's not the answer. Yeah, K-H-O-R-N-E, corn. Can I? Yeah. Can I? All right. Can I she make a religion you... check real quick and try if I if I know who she, this fucking goddess is? She if... gives you she gives you the sheet back and says, "Yeah, I'm gonna have to do this on my own, ain't I?" Uh, go ahead, I guess. Probably. Hey, Mary, if you want to fail. I think it's Levinchan, no? though. No, yeah, yeah. No. I knew that. That's why I was looking at this, and I'm like, I know that's wrong. Yeah. Yo, the goddess. Um... The god of water is a leviathan? That's sick. No, no that's, that's her, her pet. pet. She uses that to Whoa. kill sailors to go and offer her tributes. That's like, cool. Yeah. I mean, need. I mean, Greta, look, if you need help, I, I can do it. Those muscles are not the only thing in my body that's strong. I also exercise my brain. You do? She, she glares <laughs> at you. <laughs> She picks up her sheets of paper. She's like, you know what? No, I think I'm going to go do this on my own now. Thank you very much. Oh, okay, but remember, there's no shame in asking for help. Oh, no, Thank there's total shame asking you for help, Charlie. Why? And she runs away. <laughs> Come back when you want to arm wrestle me again. Look, I know it happened. Be... How's Volcano? <laughs> and Charlie just looks up. Look, I, I know I haven't always been the smartest, but homework is easy. Yeah, of course she it's easy. She has I mean, I did it. it. <laughs> I did it. Yeah, in like no, yeah. <laughs> you just see Charlie just kind of scratching at her and like, like, look, ever since I got this headband, it's everything's been much easier, but yeah. Oh, could I try it on? Oh, no, it'll take like an hour for it to work. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we don't we don't have that time right now. Well, we don't, don't have the kind of time, am I? I don't even think I need it because as a gnome, I'm already very smart. Are you not? And you yeah. got all the answers wrong. <laughs> this is <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, good to know. Mm. Uh, maybe I, I can I help can... you uh, adjust the the the, the homework to you. Even with the brain of a gnome, uh, you could still need uh, something to improve on. 
mm. you're able to say. You what do you guys mean? haven't I mean... even finished your homework yet, Robot calls as she looks up from her letter. No, why would I, I know it... I was busy training. No. Dude, you can do you can just you don't need training. Your like, muscles just kinda come naturally when you're doing manual labor. Uh, you think I train yes, for muscles? <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. Oh my goodness. Never mind. I'm going to go back to my letter. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Oh, yay. Yeah, yeah. You're writing to your family, right? Oh, a letter. Huh. Yeah, Fish. my family. Damn. Maybe I should write a letter to my family. Yeah. No idea where they are, but. I, huh. I don't know. Maybe it'll be a Jubilee miracle. They will get my letter. Actually, okay. my mom is still alive in this timeline, if I recall correctly. <laughs> yep. Oh, you, we had her village, is it a smoldering crater yet? Yeah. Hmm? Hmm? Your villi her village isn't a smoldering crater yet? Oh no, it, it was a smoldering crater. You guys just brought her mom back with a wish, remember? You wished for no. Robot to be with her mom. Well, Friday wished for Robot to be back with her mom. And I could have gone about that and really twisted. <laughs> This is the adult was... version of that young girl from Friday uh, last season. If you weren't it's here, like, you I wasn't here for that part. Yeah, yeah. So there, there's just some storyline that you might have missed. Yeah. Uh, I was, just, I was bit... talking about Charlie's village. Oh, well, oh no. no. Oh, no. Charlie's not from a village. She just... Uh, Charlie just has no idea where her family is right now. Listen, they Charlie, dropped her off in the middle of the woods when she was little. And said, go find like, no, us they... when you're ready. And the native ran away. <laughs> Lies and Flanders. I r I'm the one who ran away. And yet they did not oh. find you. <laughs> Listen, Charlie. Yes. Wow, one I less mouth really to want... feed. I'm happy that the money's coming in just wait. Anyway. <laughs> I don't uh, want to worry you or anything. But I've said it once and I, I'll just remind you. My dad is, I don't know, killed a lot of people. Including hobgoblins, so don't really keep your hopes high. I mean, yeah, like, you told to fair, your father that you're dead. Robot oh, just I casually did that. says that. <laughs> yeah, so, so, yeah. So Silver looks up from his letter and goes, "Your parents weren't bi pirates by any chance, were they? Weren't what? Pirates? Pirate? <laughs> of course not. They're warlords. Yeah, then you have nothing to worry about from my wife." <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess we are all missing family this holiday. What about you, Lindsay? She doesn't say much. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, I wonder sorry. why. I, I, I know. I just I had to use that. What a shocker! <laughs> um, I'm sorry. What's the question? I, I, I got distracted. Uh, <laughs> What about you, Lindsay? Is there anyone you miss? You were missing. Uh, she signs. To, she signs to. Uh, I mean, the only other person besides you guys was my benefactor who allowed me to come here. What'd she say? She you said it was like, it was like her mom that let her come here, but like not her real mom. Huh? Yeah, I, I don't know. She used, and then Charlie just repeats the sign. The words like benefactor, I'm not, I'm not sure what that means. Huh. I, I am so confused right now. Yeah, I think it's a type of pasta, benefactor. She faces him <laughs> slightly. That's <laughs> like, it. Always drops his pet. Uh... His colored face <laughs> as well. One of the hands that uh, people. Uh... Give some many gifts and uh, many things and uh, spice them uh, up well. Oh, so uh, like a mom? I guess. Uh, I My guess mom you never acted like that. that. Not, not, not exactly. Like oh. a sugar mom. Now you're getting it. Lindsay's Wait just a minute. Oh, okay. Your parents give you presents? Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, because you're a war, 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 warlord. Parents would do that, right? I mean, yeah. Like, every Ojibwe morning, my parents would take me and my siblings outside. They take us, like, right on the street where there are a lot of loose gravel, and we could pick the prettiest rock 
we wanted and take him home. Pretty his It was well. great. <laughs> and that's how they got. That's how, and then they walked away as soon as they. <laughs> Thank you, Lost Thorn, for joining us tonight. Uh, yes, I just did a interactive drop, so if you guys want to pick those cards up, also we Ooh. do have dicks for up and red, and hopefully you'll be able to join in if you want to help support the streams as we continue through our lovely Jubilee holiday year. Uh, but yeah, and so yeah, I see where this is hmm. going. I think for the next hour. <laughs> Sundays are it's... usually horse fighting for me and my family. Interesting. Why would you fight a horse? They're really fast, so if you can catch that, you can catch a regular dude. I mean, oh. they're not that fast. Uh... Oh, wow, of course. <laughs> <It's> said... <laughs> oh, my goodness. That, yeah, that is the cat man who can, like, zoom. Yeah, you think I forgot about that time you left us in the dust with that snake? I mean, speed I mean, isn't everything. Well, I mean, yeah, but... You know, every day would be a different training day. Oh, that's nice. You'd think so. I mean, variety is the spice of life. Come here, Wolfer. Come on. Huh. Sorry, I'm trying you know, that sounded kind of smart. Yeah, I know. This headband has been doing wonders for my mind. Can I please wear it? It takes an hour to attune to it. I hope you had this oh. conversation already. <laughs> <laughs> I, haven't seen I must it have forgot. It. Yeah, it's how stupid you are. Uh, <laughs> hey, come here. Come here. Hey. hey, it's just <laughs> proof I need the headband. All right, sorry. I'm trying to get Wolper in the shot here. <laughs> He's uh, sitting in a chair with me now. Uh, so has everybody opened the kazoo kazoos I gave them the last session yet? Say again. If if everybody recalls last se session, I got a bunch of kazoos and handed them out to everybody. Oh, we forgot. <laughs> I had completely <laughs> forgotten that happened. A matter of yeah, fact, just, half just... of us probably gave them back or threw them away as soon as you gave them. <laughs> yeah, I watched okay. that canon. I watched the episode and I forgot that. <laughs> there. Sit down. So I pull out my kazoo. Okay. All right, cool. So you got it in there. <laughs> oh. Uh, yep. So yeah. now we're looking at about 5 p.m. No homework is ever getting done. Of course not. Of course eh, not. Who cares? I would have failed anyways. I, I just worry for Greta. This year has not been kind to her. Neither have you. Yeah, no, <laughs> <didn't>. <laughs> are. I mean, it's just... I, I try to let her win at arm wrestling, but she... Yeah, I don't. Oh, I, I Sometimes I try to let her win, but it's like... I really don't know how strong I am most times. You know, I think me not letting her win is why she slightly tolerates me more than you. <laughs> I mean, she complains when I don't let her win, and she complains when I let her win. Like, what's wrong with her? At this yep, point, I the am. problem is not even me anymore. It's she definitely just... you. No, I think she just has some kind of sick obsession with me. I think uh, the trick is to give you know, her think... delusion that he got a chance with you. Huh? Yeah, give her the loot. Giving Greta the illusion that she got a oh. chance with you. But she doesn't say, uh, I'm taking already. And yeah. Charlie just points at, at uh, Lindsay. Like, let's see here. I don't think Greta swings that way. I have no idea Greta swings anyway, so, um. So Actually, swing man, it, you man. keep telling that shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but can, she can't swing, but can she hit? She proved it last yeah. session. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Wolfers over here holding me hostage, guys. It's okay, sir. Yep. You guys mm -hmm. get to watch the back of Wadako. Oh, you've gotten <laughs> so big. I remember when you were a midget. We'll talk about that later. Continue <laughs> your thoughts, guys. Oh, crap. You know, 
You know what I think it is? What? Uh, ever since I became a gnome, I got shorter, and some reason, I got angrier. Like, angrier than I already was. You, you know, right? Uh, but I think that my theory is that the shorter a person is, the angrier they are. Which is why you're so calm and docile. That's, uh, that's pretty much Really? <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. So I found oh, wait, this bag of beans. Would you like a bean from the bag? You know what to do. <laughs> Who are we Surely giving just... the bean from the bag to? Oh, God. <laughs> to the ground. <laughs> oh, hold on, Wolfer. Hold on, Wolfer. You got, you got, you got no. Which you gnome? Wait, uh, I think it's you're you, the, AJ. You're the only gnome here at the moment, so AJ. No, he isn't. Oh, Jerry's Jerry. here as well. Yeah, Jerry, Jerry. yeah Jerry's yeah. a gnome as well. Yeah, Jerry's a gnome me. as well. Are we talking about the gnome that's actually talking a lot, or...? <laughs> the one who's just here. Ajax the angry one Jerry. who's just here. The angry gnome or the friendly gnome? <laughs> the friendly appearance gnome. The talking gnome, yeah, so AJ. The talk okay, yeah. So, all of a sudden, you have a bean in your hand, Ajax, and you know if you plant this bean, something interesting might happen. Hmm. And you are compelled to plant it. <laughs> there is a bucket of mud. There's still a bucket of mud on the table. Yeah, I was about to say, hey, mud. Hey, mud. It's out, it's on the table, it has a stick sticking out of it. It's oh, right. for you. Hey, Mud, uh, I think this will be a nice touch and just drops the bean in there and and runs. <laughs> I feel like I Why get this one you... way too many times. I'm going to reroll this one, audience. Oh, God. Is it the I'm going to go ahead and step that back. Good, no, uh, we had that one, too. Let's see here. No, we had that. I'm 30 feet. See. Let's see. All right, so I'm just seeing if this thing is going to give me anything new and interesting. Wow, it's like... Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm just, I'm, I'm, this is me shuffling in a way, right? Okay, so I'm just shuffling. All right, this, this, uh -huh. this, 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 this is the one. This is the one. Whatever it lands on, the... you know what? That works for me. I guess that's what we do. Uh, the bucket oh, starts God. to shake and shudder, and uh, something starts to rise up. Oh God! As we oh, rise as one. I mean, no, it's a bullet. We rise as one. It's a we rise as one. We rise as one. A blue Ajax. one again! Yay! Yay! Ajax stares at eyes. This brings back memories, you. guys. I remember you. You da, did da, nothing da, da. to me. As the village spawns right next to Roban. Beautiful. And Roban goes, oh, fuck's sakes. Pulls her paper away <laughs> before the bullet tears it up. And uh, I need you all to roll initiative. Hooray. Oh, the Yay. This will be this will be easy, guys. I'm going to smite this thing into oblivion. Now that's the spirit. Got the truth. Oh, that mud. mud. Now I have that spirit to go. every combat. Now we're getting. That's the energy. We have it more holidays. since you're a gnome. Mm. That's what you were saying. Have we had a long rest before yeah, this session because I had yeah. I was missing I had, so I'm missing health points. Yeah, go for it. You have a long rest, guys, if you don't already have it. I yeah. missed having 50 <laughs> HP. Uh, let's see here. Did I get all my things on there? We got Robot in the house. We got Lindsay in the house. We got Grayson in the house. So you guys get three NPCs to help you out. Oh, Incredible. that'll be over quick. I don't know. Do you oh. remember? Bullet has a lot of HP, right? It but sure will. you're out first <laughs> as your bucket of but mud I mean, is now boop, all over the boop. table. Awesome! Welcome back, friend! And I get really grumpy. I rage. Mm -hmm. And I go ahead and... Granting a plus 10 on the next die Aren't you lucky? A couple of times. Uh, Laws is... To little effect. Giving, uh, to the bullet. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah, those are not going to hit. Nope. And I go ahead and say, oh! Okay, yeah. <laughs> the uh, bullet sees you trying to swing out at him. And thanks to Loss, he has a plus 10 to the next dice roll. What? He, take, yep, he takes a bite out of mud. Glad I ran away. <laughs> Boop. 
Uh, 28 hit. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yeah, 28 <laughs> definitely hits. Uh, 33 piercing damage. Thank you, awesome. Rage. Thank you, it, sir. Uh, reduced to 15, 16, I think 16. So 16? Okay. Yep. And the bullet just starts gnawing on your arm. Uh, does this bullet get anything else it can do? <laughs> that tickles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You say as your arm is nearly halfway bitten off. <laughs> Tickles. I mean, yeah. All right. All right. That's its turn as it noms on him. <clears throat> Robot. God, she, 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 she puts away the paperwork and she unsheaths a. Um, what do you got, girl? A rapier? Oh, I'm sure she does, but apparently she's got Before this as well. She does, uh, what is that, 20? Yeah, I know hers isn't showing up for you guys, but that's just the way she's built. She deals 22 points of damage. And then she disengages. And goes, Grayson, cover me. <laughs> Wait, what? Hey, Jax, you're up. Don't worry, I'll cover you. And he runs over uh, to where Robant was not. Mm -hmm. And then... I mean, there's a It'll lot of just places you can hit out. Oh, oh damn. 20, 24 and a okay. 27. Oh, I should have uh, said this before, but I was going to bonus action Thundering Smite. Basically, just what I do now. Okay. Um. I need some okay, so. Yep. And then I'm also going to second level Divine Smite. So that's the first one, then the second one, and then the thundering smite damage, and I'm going to need a con save, I think that is. Uh, so check. I'll get there in a minute. I'm going to start doing math. 26, huh. then a minus 8. You, you want to save some bullet for others? I mean, come on. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, too bad. He's still standing. Ah. Uh. Uh, was... Healing word. It's like CRP from afar. Um, strength saving throw of fourteen. All right, we got a healing word coming in from Lost. I think I know where it's going, but I do have to ask <laughs> who are we giving that to. Please give it to the bullet. Yes. Wait, who is bullet. your actually? What side are you on? Okay, it passes. Yes. Yes. I play both I guess. teams. Uh, I guess. Well, yeah. DM, I guess a good DM pass too. Anyway. <laughs> to the bot. Ooh. Just take it one step down, Ajax, real quick. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll take one step down since you asked so lightly. All right, all right. Since you asked. All right. All right. Uh, is that the end of your turn? Yep. All right, Charlie, you're up. <clears throat> ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Uh. With my bonus action, I cast Hex on the bullet. Why would you do that? The bullet's already been hexed with all of you. <laughs> well, because it's like... I don't know, I just want to do damage and then uh, oh, I'm gonna... I just want to uh, do damage. I just want to do damage. <laughs> Gosh, guys. And then uh... I action surge. Uh, so that's that. Hold on. Uh, oh, no, wait, no. wait, 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 wait. My, my rapier fucked up the damage. It's rolling a 1. It, it should not be a 7. It should be a D8, I think. Uh, see, is what you get for allowing it to auto roll. Yeah, I don't know why it keeps doing that. Uh, can I just uh, roll well, the damage real quick? Hold on a second. We're going to go into your rapier. Mm -hmm. No, I already fixed it. Did you? Yeah. Well, I wanted to see when it was broken. Fine. Do the damage. I mean, if you sack the it, it's just a 1 plus 5 plus. Yeah. Look, Uno, look, look. dos, tres, cuatro. <sighs> Uno, dos... There you go. You know what? That looks like enough. I'm done. <laughs> Ajax is going to get... falls to the ground as a bucket oh. of mud 
Remains vigilant. Busted, but vigilant. Well, that was nice. Ajax will give Charlie a high five while standing on the table to meet her. <laughs> Charlie high fives back and she's like, Yeah, that was fun. We did great, guys. Yeah. So is the yeah, bucket just bent? Or oh, is no, it like it, destroyed? It, it, it is burst. Your mud is on the table. Like this 500 okay. pound creature just popped out of it and smashed it. Well, kind of figured as much, but you said it is, you know, tweaked, but okay. I know. I, I, I was over exaggerating the unobvious. <laughs> Sorry about that, bud. Not a biggie. I have lots of buckets. Oh, Grabs wow. Okay. Bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I pull out a bucket and start scraping the mud off the table back into the bucket. Hmm. Well, we'll go back to the normal peaceful music. No, 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 uh, no, 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 we'll do this. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, Lindsay just gives you a thumbs up, like, good job, guys. Yeah, that was great. And Grayson turns around, see, got you covered. And Robot just mutters, my hero, rolls her eyes and walks away. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Grayson just kind of, oh, like, wanders up to, the, to you guys. Do, do you think Robot likes me? <laughs> no. No. What? But she said I was Definitely her not. hero. Aww. The day Hero <laughs> likes you is the day that the universe falls apart. Charlie just what? looks at him and she <laughs> says, Grayson, the ways two women's hearts are very mysterious and difficult to understand. Oh, she wait, has a I boyfriend, just... dude. Yeah, she does? Yeah, she oh yeah, she does. She did say she, she had one. She is taken. <laughs> oh. Okay, yeah. you're probably right. She doesn't like me. Anyway, moving on with my life, and he strolls away. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna soak in his room eating a tub of ice cream. That's and so... watching soap operas. <laughs> yeah, he, he made a television while you guys were away. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, yeah. as he's watching, I love Lucy. Uh, what are you guys doing? <laughs> well, yeah, guys, um, what's her the plans for Jubilee? Huh? Oh, uh, Jubilee. Should, should we should we all go hop in our mechs and go Santa hunting? Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what I mean, the fuck could. is a Satan? Okay, I, I did not get a mech yet. <laughs> well... I don't know, guys. It's fake. Might have to pass into it with someone if we do do that, but it does sound fun. Yeah, it does. Oh, mm. Rain reindeer could be on the menu tonight. Mm. Reindeer? We, we could have what a mean, nice reindeer? Jubilee feast. Do does it not taste know like how works? Jubilee is a dragon <laughs> pulling this light. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Mm. Well, fresh dragon. <laughs> Mmm, dragon steaks. I like mean, dragon. after the last dragon you ran into, are you sure you want to be saying that? Yeah, you know what? I don't think no. we should fight a dragon. <laughs> Maybe we should finally go deal with that black one that's outside and see if he, he can, we can convince him to leave. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. not our problem. I mean, no, it's not like... We took care of him already. It's yeah. not our fault. It's Meanwhile... not like we brought him here. Yeah, meanwhile, Smiley's having to create a factory for uh, healing potions. <laughs> very good, very Smiley. good. I am very prosperous this season. Sales are up. I have... up. Guys, Honestly, think they should just hire some adventurers to take care of it. I don't know why they haven't done so already. <laughs> they did they already. <laughs> you were the first set of adventurers, and everyone else has been having shit time. <laughs> Anyway, sorry. That's, that's the <laughs> Wait, thing. Do you not read the news? They've what? lost like eighty guys to try to get, deal with that 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 guy. Silvers, I don't read. Well, now. I, I mean, it sounds you like should. a skill issue. I mean, yeah. It's just a fuzzy seamorph, <laughs> right? <laughs> think about it. Think about it like this, guys. Did we bring a dragon here? Maybe, but we also increased. Uh, the friggin' sales for Smiley's business, so we helped out a friend. Yeah. And probably brought destruction to a city. <laughs> but we 
helps out a friend, and in the end, isn't that what matters? Yeah, <laughs> see, for once, I agree with Charlie. Lindsay's just sighing. Am... What the hell is wrong with these idiots? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what see, Lindsay agrees with us. No, um, he does not. Babe. You maybe do you yeah. want to go fight the dragon? Is that what you want to do? I mean, it's personally, so I'll do whatever. Do you want to go fight the dragon, Lindsay? Is that no. what you want to do? <laughs> no, she does not. She sides. <laughs> <laughs> I see. But my request would be, she, yeah, she does a big but. <laughs> you did but... what? You did what? <laughs> you we did took care of it. Do, you you allowed it to exist longer in the vicinity than it should? Oh, wait, Charlie, you told uh, Lindsay, right? Yeah, we <laughs> took care of it, right? Remember, we gave it cookies, we pat its head, we took a, a, a little torn for its paw. Yeah. Right. yeah, at first I thought that was stupid, but then I realized, hey, it's not a problem anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they, the, the instructions are very clear yeah. that we should take care of him, and we did. We took such good care of him. He was very yeah, thankful. You, you, you guys are definitely the reason why all adventuring <laughs> guilds are being very exact and precise <laughs> about what they mean <laughs> when they say you take care of him. Thank you for reminding me. They Wait, what? Oh, yeah. That had consequences across the multiverse. Yep. <laughs> It, it now has oh, yeah. parentheses. Yep. Yeah, it now has parentheses. It says, "When we say take care of them, we actually mean kill it, or eliminate kill them it. from being a permanent threat by making sure they are no longer here to kill us." <laughs> I don't know. Something specific. It it, it, it varies. Place to place. I I sure they um already they found people to solve the situation. They have um, not. I will eventually. Trying. It's all right. It's the holidays. Everybody's just taking time to get over it. Well, I mean, you know yeah. what they say. Uh, the definition of determination is trying the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. That, yeah, that's, that's like of insanity. That's called. No, that I think that sounds like a That is the exact definition of insanity. No, determination. <laughs> I have a lot of determination. I thought that was stupid, mm -hmm. uh -huh. but either way works. <laughs> Yeah, I'm all three of those things. <laughs> oh, either way, I think uh, they can. Oh, I hear a hoo hoo hoo. It must be that bird. Hoover? <laughs> Hoover? That Who? Who? You hear? <laughs> the big bird. The big bird guy. Who is it? No. The big not. bird. You're talking about. Uh... No, Aren't you a bird too, that is big? <clears throat> No, oh, I'm wow, actually okay. quite small, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, he's almost as small as me. Oh, I'm not that small. And me. <laughs> so, oh, okay. oh, no, no, I, I stand tall, but I'm not, like, huge like you. <laughs> that just yeah. consulted by Hoover? <laughs> yeah, Hoover doesn't know he insulted you, though, so it's whatever. Yeah, Hoover is a uh, an Allen, as you guys can guess. Um, and, uh, yeah, he's, uh, dressed in these scholarlistic robes and looking through his books, sometimes tripping more than he should. But, uh, as he hoots his way over to see what you guys are up to, ooh, what are you all up to this evening? <laughs> uh, we are just preppy for Jubilee. Mm -hmm. Ooh, excellent. Hey, Hoover, would you like a boulette steak? You I cooked it? <laughs> we killed no, it. I, I, I haven't. We killed it. I was going to, you know, cut off a couple of steaks. I mean, if you want one. I, I mean, don't I've... think you can prepare a bullet like that, but okay. No, no, no. No, thank you. Oh, yeah. It's All definitely right. illegal to poach bullets. <laughs> I mean, well, I mean, it's a if it came out, of our, came out of our desk. Yeah, if they keep coming to us, it's is it really poaching? Ooh, I mean, to be fair, I don't know how that keeps happening. Then again, that book yeah. keeps going frizzy too, so maybe it has something to do with the book. I you know, it's a mystery. Book. Oh, the the, the, oh. the magic spell book. book. That did you guys give it ever give it more security? Yeah, he what you mean the book with the lollipops? <laughs> we should yeah. follow him and check out the book. 
Oh yeah, that sounds like a good idea. That will have no consequences <laughs> uh, whatsoever. I think Grayson nope, not whatsoever. By that book. <laughs> Nothing bad happened with that book. I don't know what you're talking about. No, Grayson and Greta definitely got kidnapped by the Zoom and disappears into a door. <clears throat> and that's just standard Hoover. Yeah, you uh, the dimension door. And... <laughs> yeah. It's alright, wasn't making uh, an wait, actual <laughs> plot twist, but... <laughs> that, that's mm -hmm. okay. Well, didn't we get read of the book, though? Hmm. No, I don't read. I mean... uh. <laughs> 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 and yet, you're over here doing homework. Hey, man, I was writing down random answers. <laughs> Is he? Yeah. Are you? <laughs> Uh, well. Yeah, gonna, anyway, you guys got anything else you want to kind of like achieve in this moment? No. 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 Uh, as you guys oh, yeah. are finishing, hey, you said no, back up. As you guys <laughs> finishing up, uh, we hear Daffenberg's heavy footsteps coming from down the hall. For those who don't know, Daffenberg is the House of Volcanoes. Pathmaster, and he is like, Hey, Hoover, where the hell did you go? We gotta go get ready for that party. Hey, have you seen Hoover? Yeah, okay. he wants to check on the book. And yeah, follow me. Oh, God damn it, yeah. getting distracted again. He's as bad as Frog Tongue. Uh, yeah, I'll no, the, book, the book's not here. At any rate. What? Yeah, it's. Oh, uh, yeah, he they went... moved the book because it's dangerous. He went through Especially that door, around though. You idiots. It was a dimension <laughs> I mean, look, hmm. the scope security could not contain a single book. It's just <sighs> too dangerous. I'm sorry, you, said there was a... you were the reason the school security has to be tightened up now. Thanks. <laughs> You're making my job a living <laughs> hell. You know that, right? You're welcome, <laughs> sir. Hey, that wasn't a compliment. Those <laughs> Gosh. Uh, what was Rin's character in this game? I want to Grin, about or Midori. 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 You know Midori. what? If you keep this if you keep this up, you're gonna go help Midori fix all those broken nails he made. God, I don't know why that kid can't make a fucking nail to save his life. Damn, he's still on that. Jeez. How he still can't afford for shit. Well, supposed to be a house fault. I mean, I probably can't. Yeah. I probably can't either, but I'm not I'm... going to attempt to. I no, could see. Fair. Okay. At any rate, Pat's... Wait, um, you said there was a party? Oh, a, a oh. teacher party. Teacher party, no. Uh, Don't get your uh, upset. Uh, like, you kids can have your own party. You know, you know, you guys can do your own thing. Oh, yeah, we should have a party. We can have eggnog. Sure, if that's we what you want. How about some fireworks? How about some booze? There you go. Those are fireworks. I mean, you're all grown adults. I don't have to babysit you. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> I grew up at Oric. I had my first drink when I was like uh, 10. Well, we'll have a talk about that some other time, Ajax. <laughs> so Apparently, I think the plan for today is getting alcohol and explosives now, yes? Yeah. Sounds, yeah. Great. sounds great, you guys. Well... Now you guys enter into the city of Ulubadak, going to your favorite tavern, where some of you are no longer allowed to buy. What was it they were kept buying? Flour. <laughs> Flour. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what the character was buying way back yeah. then, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep. And the flour dealer. <laughs> At any mm. rate, you guys make your way into the town, buying party supplies for tonight. Yep. 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 Fair enough. Uh -huh. Um, I'll let you guys just use your imagination of how you want to make this party happen. Lindsay gets a big old <laughs> cake that reminds you of the cake that nearly killed everybody. <laughs> the one I stun locked. Yes, the one. Okay, the one that did not <laughs> get. Really <laughs> clearly, I think Silver's the only one who got damaged by that cake until he. Made it stop moving. Yeah, the cupcakes are what almost <laughs> killed us. Uh, yeah, yes. the cupcakes are definitely don't worry, the most don't dangerous. Don't worry, Greta's bringing the cupcakes. <laughs> and Grayson's oh, bringing God, the candy canes. 
Ajax so, bring, bring explosives. Ajax brings <laughs> a keg. Like sure. he brings like two keg that he needs someone else to help him carry. Oh, let me help. And Charlie just grabs one of the kegs I'm without fine. any issue. I'm, I'm, okay. <laughs> He's just tall tall probably people. grab both of them. <laughs> no, oh, yeah. Charlie's like, do you want me to take the, the other one too? It's it's no problem. I can probably fit them under one arm. Do you want to damage my fragile masculinity? <laughs> <laughs> No thanks. And then the fire Sorry. Is going off on Dixburg. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know it was that fragile. Dude, um, I turned into a gnome. <laughs> like, he went climbing. from a like six foot, seven foot tall orc to a three foot tall gnome. Of course, it's fragile. <laughs> it's been declining ever since. <laughs> I, I don't know. I never had any problems with just being strong. Shots fired. <laughs> oh god. Are you sure it's a size issue? Oh, why am I? This here? is why no one. <laughs> Maybe it's just a skill issue. How do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Lindsay wanders off. <laughs> no, Charlie, you yes. having a girlfriend makes me think that anyone can get a partner. Well, then there is hope for you. <laughs> Do you oh, think Greta would take you? What? No, ew. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, you're right. Even you have standards. She's like a sister wow. to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck you too, bitch. <laughs> you know what you need, Ajax? You need to go out hunting and, and kill something with your bare claws and teeth. I don't have... I cut my nails. <laughs> <laughs> he cuts his Why nails. would you do... Silver flexes his actual cat claws. Why would you do that? Because it helps you to motion. You know, when you hold an axe, you don't want to accidentally cut yourself with long nails. I've never had the, that problem. I just use my claws to kill things. Huh. <laughs> yeah, but you can just make our claws go back into your hands. Fair enough. He is not yeah, I, the same way. <laughs> I can also make this like. I can also do so other things with them, like make them light on fire, or Excuse free shit. Me? It's really cool. Oh, that oh. sounds awesome. Is this another monk thing? <laughs> yes, watch. <laughs> no, please, please. I have alcohol, no. I have alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. And then the fireworks explode, no. <laughs> oh, well. Flaws really glow hard. and... You... He does. Oh, hell yeah. Just so slightly. Oh, God. Glowing red claws. Red I missed. But still. No. <laughs> no. No, no, no. No, dude. Did, did you want to <laughs> hate to have to go? We have to swing harder. Like this. <laughs> what? Ajax starts. Bam! <laughs> you just get clobbered by a fucking rapier? Are we PvPing now? What did I tell you guys about she this? Just, no, she just bumps into his head in the butt of a rapier with a handle. Ajax starts running from silvers in slow motion and then falls over. <laughs> Hoover sneezes because he's not the one tripping this time. Damn, I rolled a two. <laughs> Oh, you got uh, advantage on him. <laughs> <laughs> he is from <laughs> Off with his head. Are you, sh oh. Are you sure on you don't want hand, to carry the other keg? On I'm one fine. hand, instinctive pounce. On the other hand, don't kill friend. You know, sometimes I, sometimes I regret my decision of running away from my parents. <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel you. Oh, I sometimes regret it too. Your parents left mm. you. I thought we established this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I made like... a conscious choice to run away. My parents would never abandon me. I'm sure your, of that. Your parents just never made an attempt to find you, though. That's that's where they're like, okay, this problem fixes itself. I, you know, I'm she's not ready, going to. I'm not going to question to, it. I surely had their reasons. She's ready to be an independent woman. I'm so proud of her. I had a <laughs> lot of siblings. I'm sure they had forget. their reasons. I forget. <laughs> 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 
Are you sure? Wait, you mean to tell me that was a girl? I thought we called her Charlie because I thought it was a boy. Anyway, moving on. I thought she had a chocolate factory. Anyway, uh, I mean, you guys are still Charlie. In, in, charge for Charlotte. From, yeah, you guys are still coming back from the uh, city to decorate and do whatever you want to do. Light off many, many explosive devices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're definitely hearing random fireworks throughout the streets as you're also going down the streets, throwing your own fireworks up. You know, I, I find it that the city now with this burnt down look and partially destroyed by a dragon is very avant-garde. It will do wonders for the tourism. Reminds me of home. What kind of broadcast home come from? Well, less of my home and more of the uh, places that I raided. Ah, uh, yes. 8 p.m. rolls around <laughs> at this point, and the uh, adults' teachers are having their little party. Their little shindig. But the shindig. students themselves are um, gathering into one of the dorms. And, uh, yeah. Cupcakes by Greta. Candy canes by Grayson. And uh um, nice lollipops from cake. Or oh, huh? no, the cake is Lindsay. <laughs> he watches Lindsay puts down a big old cake in the middle of the floor or the table, I should say. Floor. Ah. Good. Good job, babe. Uh what what flavor of cake is it? How did you hold that? Flavor. She shrugs. What? It's a chocolate mousse by mud. Oh, them! I plop, cake I plop down a bucket of of, uh, of moose on the table. Lindsay, how did you carry that? That's just my girlfriend. I taught her how to lift. <laughs> <laughs> huh. She just shakes I mean... her head and is like, <laughs> she signs magic. If you're able to understand her, uh, he looks at her and he's like, "Oh, okay." Oh, okay. Yes, I friend magic. He definitely Pat. does not understand. Pat's his head. Oh, magic, huh? I mean, I guess she is quite magical. Yeah. Wait, did you just pat me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're being pat by the cat. Well, cat pat. Now, yeah, now the cat is the. Head. I mean. Cats can pet other cats. <laughs> At any rate, you guys bring your drinks, your your food, your cheer, your holiday cheer, and uh, your merriment, as it were. Uh, do you guys mm -hmm. want to take a little break and come back, or you want to just keep going? Am I hearing a cat getting in trouble? You know what? We might have to take that break. Another agent right. of chaos right. is at play. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I must go stop Precious before she loses her Precious patience with me. Uh, we'll she go ahead and take a quick little 10 minute break here. Uh, make sure you guys enjoy the shorts. Uh, thank you guys for joining us for this Jubilee special. And uh, we're going to get into gifts soon and see what Lindsay got somebody. And we'll see what everybody else got for somebody. If they got somebody something, who knows. But uh, we'll be back here in a quick short bit. So stay tuned, my friends. We'll be RV to the B. Son of a... <laughs> Can we just rewind that? I want to hear that again. <laughs> Son of a... <laughs> might want to clip that if you want right, for future. <laughs> we can put it on a soundboard later on. Uh, Otto, you're up. I got my eye on you. Now oh, come get my... Let me... Let... Now come get Grandma a kiss on the cheek. You know how it is. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell happened to your old lips, son? <laughs> Don't oh, feel right. Which put, <laughs> put a curse on me, ma'am. I'm sorry. They're a little rough. You gave oh, me the tuberculosis. Her back and the just what? Lines. You gave me the tuberculosis. I'm oh, sorry. you're such a good little puppy. There you go. Here's some bush grits for you. <laughs> Oh. I'm enjoying this. 
<laughs> so good to see you, grandbabies. I hardly get the chance. How's your mommy, daddy doing? To build an army, to be ready for any threat that may come. Why are you here? <laughs> Emo just kind of like, like Emo doesn't get mad. He doesn't get angry, but he definitely gets low tone, right? Like, why are you here? Oh, sir, Come you on. don't understand. We like found the treasure map, and wait, turns wait, out wait, the real wait. treasure are wait, wait. the people we met along, the uh, friends we made along the way. Stop no. with that One Piece ending. I don't like it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, um, no, I swear. No, I try to I try to cover Charlie's mouth not to tell her tell him about the treasure chest. Um, Leave her Give me another investigation as you're kind of like pulling on the edge of this Gundam. <laughs> you uh, manage to kind of like yank down a lever and you hear a psh, and this chest piece comes outward and inside you see a cockpit. I'm I'm getting in it. You get oh, hell in. Yeah. You yeah, get you into it. the chest. The as soon as you enter the seat, the chest recedes back in, and you are you got two joysticks to the left and the right of you. One on you know one one on each side, right? And then mm -hmm. there's a um, red blinking light that kind of like appears on a monitor. But it just blinks. No, this in the previous means... game, he jumped inside a bag of holding. This is not I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And tried to rely on a bean to get out. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you are getting out, but I don't think it's the way you want to get out. Probably not. Hold on, I gotta remember how to spell this. Is Emo still there, or? Yeah, he's down there with the group that is caught. Like you guys, like he's not mad or anything. He's just like, why are you here? And, yeah. and and right now I think uh, uh, you're yeah, trying Charlie to steal was the beans. Him. Charlie so, was telling him. Well, today. before that, before that, I got to resolve the bean, right? So, Ren, I have bad news for you. Okay. But I didn't do anything. Hold on, hold on. I got to take care of Ren first, cause or not, not Ren with an E, the Ren with an I that I know him as out of character. My apologies, Midori, Midori, Midori. This thing joins you in the cockpit and literally smashes yeah. you against the wall. Oh, joy. On a scale of one to eggs, how screwed am I? Does a 25 hit? Uh, yeah. Uh, eggs. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. eggs. Definitely eggs. <laughs> and you guys, I don't know, like, perception check down below. Like, or, yeah, everybody oh. can make a perception check. I guess this is fair. <laughs> Damn, yeah, everybody can make it. Yes, 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 yes. Because yeah, this noise is a little hard to conceal, even with the noise resistance. <laughs> there, there was a loud and crunch. I'm going, I'm going to assist Charlie in giving her advantage. You can't assist with perception checks, not in this case. Okay. Yeah, but Geo, you managed to get it, and Jimmy. Yeah, you two kind of like hear this noise from above about midway or, you know, the very first Gundam or the mobile suit that was attacked or, you know, Midori quickly jumped into. All of a sudden, you kind of like look up there and there's a green smear against the window. What is going on? No.
Welcome to Chaotic Calling. I'm back from break and I'm back with these guys. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi, guys. Perfect. <sighs> well, thank you. That's our show. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, okay, bye. <laughs> bye. See you next season. Uh, no, you guys are basically setting up your uh, your Christmas party, as it were, or Jubilee party, I should say. And, um, yeah, the evening's playing itself out. Music is being heard. Maybe there's a string of mistletoe hanging from the ceiling for no reason at all uh mm -hmm. but hey i'll let you guys help me paint a picture here so what do you guys want to do as you kind of like decorate and get the party started okay thank you for that i'll <laughs> mm -hmm. our best role play so far i, I think know, right? definitely 10 out of 10. the invisible man steals the cake the unseen servants eat all the cupcakes <laughs> and strange familiars come pouring in and devouring all the uh, <clears throat> candy canes And you guys just what stand the there and let it happen. On? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Should we do something about that? Probably. Yeah. Hey, we still have this bucket of booze. Anybody want some? Did you say bucket of booze? No, moose. Oh, moose. As in chocolate moose. Why would you put a moose in a bucket? No, no, it's, it's a dessert. Oh, never had it. Think like uh, chocolate pudding. Mm. It's fancy chocolate pudding. Fancy oh. chocolate pudding. So you make chocolate out of mousse. I mean, it sounds weird, but... Considering New York, it? York, it sounds normal. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh. No, I meant the chocolate part. The mousse oh. part is totally normal. Oh, okay. Moose pudding. My mom made that for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was good. Didn't know it could be made in chocolate. Yeah. Was the moose brown by chance? <laughs> no, nah, the moose was purple, blue. Obviously. No, it was purple, obviously. <laughs> obviously, yeah. No, well, like normal moose or meese. Yeah. What's the plural of moose? Moose. Moose. song. Let's move on to something else. Dude. <laughs> okay. Let's go chase down our cake. Uh, uh, which direction did it head? It just stood up on the table and disappeared. Huh. <laughs> what's, the, right. what's the cake of Mimic? <laughs> did we get another Mimic cake by accident? No, okay, the Invisible dude. Man just opened his mouth and ate it. Man, the, wait, the invisible man. Is it that alien guy that shot us? No, you killed him, remember? I mean, who, is, who has the best sense of smell here? That's a great question. Probably the cat. Hmm. Are you asking the cat, the cat to be Maybe like a the... dog? <laughs> yeah. Hey, cat, can you do this dog thing? <laughs> Yeah, what I was I asked to do? <laughs> sniff around We're trying to track place. down our cake. Can you sniff it out for us? All right. I guess this I don't know. Let's see. Can I? No, you know. <laughs> but it's all right because the DM nope. was just trying to make things happen because you guys were being too quiet. Really. Uh, your mm. cake is back. All the candy canes and everything else, lollipops and all, are all available for you to consume at your leisure. Uh, a matter of fact, Yay. Lindsay's got uh, small little plates, and she's cutting the cake for all of you to enjoy and hands them over to you one at a time. Yay, cake. Yay, cake. Thanks, babe. Cake. Thanks, um, uh, Lindsay. I don't Thank you, eat Lindsay. Me. Son, you, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. I don't you're know welcome. what that means. Okay. It means you're welcome. welcome. He, again, uh, once more. Silver, Pat. Him on the head. <laughs> Dude, you really need to learn sign language. 
Well, I mean, no one offered to teach me. We There's literally entire... have the sign language club, dude. <clears throat> we are still okay. accepting new members. She signs, but you don't know what she's saying. Yeah, we're accepting new members. <laughs> hmm. Did she just insult me? Pointing at Lynn's. No. No. Nah. She literally told you the same thing Charlie did, but with yeah. her hand. Yeah, I, I'm just translating. Oh, that's cool, I guess. Yeah. yeah it's, also, it's also great for tactical things when we, we're not, when you're trying to be sneaky and shit. Which we're great at. Wait, what's sneaky? Yeah, we're super that's, sneaky, my dude. That thing we don't do. That thing we yeah. don't do. <laughs> you know, that thing that uh, Vagos has been trying to teach you for three <laughs> sessions now. Look, Vagos taught me a lot of things. She taught me how to pick locks. Listen, if I wanted to be sneaky, I'd be a Pick rogue. Nose. <laughs> Come on, you've never wanted you to sneak to be... up behind someone and just one no. quick lop of your axe before they know you're there. I don't want it to be quick. Why do you have to be sneaky to pick your nose? <laughs> what? <laughs> that... Yeah, you, you have to be sneaky to pick your nose so people don't know that you picked it. Hmm. Sorry, Play that's the, the DMs. The DMs over here talking to the you for some reason. I don't know why. Anyway, moving <coughs> on. <laughs> when do we not break the fourth wall? Uh, Never when Shell is around. Anyways. Yeah, you're right. Uh, so is Shell coming to the party? Uh, I don't know. Is she? That's up to uh, know, the expert she? to decide. Will God come to the party? Oh, you're too sweet <laughs> to call me a god. Yeah. Well, come have a piece of cake, Shella. I'm not like merely I, a god. Like, like I said, like I said, Dixper determines whether or not she's here or not. <laughs> well. At any rate, you guys are enjoying your party. Like, eating cake, uh, having mousse, chocolate mousse. Having um, all Ooh. this food and treats around. Um... Small talk, uh, whatever you want to do. Matter of fact, like I said, there has been a, well, you know, like a, a casual mistletoe somewhere over yonder. Let me see if I can draw it. Something like, uh... Wait, there is a mistletoe. <laughs> yep, or we'll call it a mistletoe. Hanging from the ceiling. Oh, damn, there's, there's like some plants on the ceiling. Is it edible? Oh no, I'll no, try. Silver, no. no silver go up. I'll try to <laughs> buy. Was, I'm pretty sure Missile was <laughs> very poisonous. Oh. Yeah, it is Ajax. very poisonous. It's dependent upon who comes over to get you. Yeah. Um, Ajax uh, puts up a chair, tries to get to it too short. <laughs> no, it's okay, my dude. And Charlie pick, picks him up and helps oh, him oh. to the mistletoe. <laughs> Red is like, what the hell are you doing, Ajax? You're not trying supposed to eat be messing plant. with that. And she winds up underneath the mistletoe. Yeah, you're not supposed to eat it. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to eat the plant. Yeah. You're not, not. supposed to eat that. It is. It's we very not? poisonous. No, it's no. poisonous as all fuck. And now oh, I can't move. Saying... Why? Why not? Move. Because I'm Why underneath I the move? mistletoe. <laughs> because you're an idiot. Oh. Huh? Oh. <laughs> no, it's, <laughs> it's because I'm holding you up. Here, I'll put you down. And she puts him down right under the mistletoe. <laughs> Oh, sweet. Wait, no, not sweet. Put me back up there. <laughs> no. no, you can use your legs now. It's, it's, uh... Ow, why'd you... What the... What was that for? Okay, now I can move did, again. Did you poison <laughs> me? Or uh, what the fuck? Why did she kiss you, my... Greta, do you have a thing for him? Oh, God, No, he was ew. just the closest one to release me from the mistletoe curse. God damn. I have nothing the to do with him. Uh, Curse? Yes. Do you not know the stories of Jubilee and the curse of the mistletoe? When you enter I mean, underneath the mistletoe, the only way to be unfrozen by its paralytic powers is to steal a kiss or get a kiss. Oh, yeah. I can't yeah, yeah, I know. It's it disgusting, but it, yeah. Do you want to try it? <laughs> uh, no, he runs away from it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. But that no, was her asking. That cannot time. be true. Yeah. Wait, Greta, are you trying to steal a kiss from me? I'm way over here. You want to go over there and try it? You do your own, dude. Do your own, dude. Uh, this is just, this is just right. customary. Charlie this is just goes customary. Under, Charlie goes under the mistletoe. 
Give me a constitution saving throw, DC 35. Oh my god. Damn. <laughs> what? Yeah, you're you're Damn paralyzed. <laughs> oh yeah, like you had a chance to get out of this. Yeah. I, the I holiday spirit didn't. compels you to stay put. <laughs> I actually had an actual chance of uh, getting through it. Sure, sure, you do. Of course um, you did. But uh, you know, in the holiday spirit you are frozen <laughs> there and um Huh, what are you gonna do? Charlie tries to move. Not moving. The mistletoe has you cursed. <laughs> huh. Hey, Lindsay, you should go check on your girlfriend. I mean... Babe, do you know count her spell? Uh, do, do you uh, know spell magic or remove curse? She uh, jumps up and plants a kiss on your cheek and you can move again. Gross. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that could be used as a somatic component. That's nice. <sighs> Greta just like, I just told you, you got to get a kiss or steal a kiss. What part of that did you not get, Charlie? Gosh, Honestly, teaching you anything I, I about custom be honest, is I, just... I, thought, I, thought, I thought my <laughs> huge muscles would help me. They did not. I, I, I feel of like Of course not. Me. As you can see, even I was compelled to stand there. <laughs> Well, yeah, you're we're... right. You, you are one of the strongest people I know. Damn well, I mean, right, I don't I have. Mm -hmm. I don't have. You want to arm wrestle, Greta? Robots over here talking to Grayson, like, what in the? You know what? I've never heard of this mistletoe, but I don't want nothing to do with it. Me, yeah, me neither. Well, I mean, it's obvious you both just aren't as strong as a person like oh. me, and he goes over the mistletoe. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, damn. You are compelled to stay put. Unless you can roll no, the wait, I have to roll Yeah, to roll the saving throw. Thirteen. Right. Yeah, you're compelled to stay put. See guys I, I see oh god. <laughs> it's okay, my dude. Uh, wait, Lindsay, wait, how uh, many people can we put stay... <laughs> does not give you a kiss. <laughs> Charlie wait, just what? looks at Lynn. I will stand uh, here as long as I need to. No one come near me. It's okay, dude, you can do it. Look, I'm sure that if we try hard enough, you can probably go get through to the curse. Like, I'm yeah. pretty sure I could do it Mud if I just... is now compelled to stand next to you. <laughs> no, I didn't... Yo, what's up, oh. up yo? yo what's uh, up? Charlie looks at the two of them and she's like, Lindsay, is there, like, a limit to how many people can be there? Shots. Can we just, like, put everybody in there? I mean, you can only take, like, the closest five feet. <laughs> okay, so... Eight feet. I think that we Nine could people. fit everybody if we do, like, one of those formations. Linda goes, why would you do that? <laughs> Stop it. I want to see how, how many people can, the curse can hold at once. Mm -hmm. I think you're trying to start a fan fiction. <laughs> the fuck is a fan fiction? I don't know, I heard it from somewhere. It's like when an author writes a book, and then people who like the book write stories about the book. No, I don't read books. Then why'd you use that word? <laughs> I don't know, I just heard it. <laughs> because he's friends with people who are fans of books who write stories about those books oh. that he doesn't oh. read. Well, I mean, if you're not standing <laughs> with them, then you're okay. But if you're standing with them, then you can be frozen in place with the mistletoe curse. Happy Jubilee, everybody. <laughs> My knees hurt. <laughs> well, I mean, mud, mud is trapped right alongside you. If you should kiss, you, you should be free. I'm good. I'm good. Right, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not. You need to. I, I mean, don't either of you have, like, girlfriends? I mean, can uh, Greta, can it, can you kiss Ajax real quick? No, just like a, no, a sibling, no, a, no, a sibling kiss. No, sibling no, no, kiss. no, no, no. That's not a thing. I never. What? Look, no, that's not. I a thing. Yeah. All right. Look, I stole my kiss already. It will not work anymore. He's trapped there until somebody else goes over there and gives him a smooch. <laughs> if you Robot, come near me, and, uh, if no, you I don't me. think so. Good. If you smooch me, I will have your heart in my hands. 
I probably I should mean, have. I mean, that uh, usually is what it, the, the, the curse is usually trying to get people to do. No. To use not. their hearts. But, yeah. No, I'll, yeah. I'll cut you. No. That's okay. what I'm saying. Um. And, yeah. And Rabon's like, Whoa. you know what? I'm on the same page. I cut you too. I'm glad we're. I'm glad we think the same. Well, have you guys checked uh, out this cool film I found on this TV? Grayson says as he points to Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer showing on there. Grayson, what the what? fuck is that TV? Look, it's yeah, like what? they, hey, they call them, this one. They, they call themselves misfits, and they're on some strange island, guys. What's this about? Oh, I get called that all the time. <clears throat> Sorry, continue. Hey, is that where we live? Is that no, their school? No. <laughs> uh, okay, remind me never to show you, Matt. You're way over there anyway. She, he pulls the TV away from you and just looks in a different direction. <laughs> hey, Grayson, I can't really see that uh, far. Yeah, Can you a, bring it closer? It's a, it's a damn shame. If only somebody was brave enough to kiss you. Mm. No, bring Not it happening. closer. No. Real quick. Nope. No, you're gonna uh, get hurt uh, too. Uh, you're star, 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 star. Can I grapple Grayson? Why are you picking <laughs> on this poor boy? Why are you picking on this poor boy? Why are you picking on this poor boy? Why you gotta be? See, this is why. Can I grapple him? Do I end the stream early? I mean, what am I supposed to do here? <laughs> Yes, you can grab. Okay, it. can can Silver's cool, 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 cool. throw a dagger at the mistletoe to try and cut it down? Or in the I, really man route I use my acid breath weapon on the mistletoe. Wait, I no, that'll you, go down on the meat. I need you and Ajax to make a dexterity saving throw. That because <laughs> what goes <laughs> up must come down. Oh, uh, oh, oh wait! Uh, 20 I just realized flight. something. You don't get a dexterity but... saving throw, so you take the damage. <laughs> oh, no, you get no, the no, paralyzed. No. Yeah, they can't move. <laughs> so they can't use their dexterity to get out of the way. <laughs> you idiot. So roll the, roll the damage. Did and... it break the, the, the mistletoe, though? Yeah, oddly, but the enough, mistletoe that... oddly enough, it is a cursed object. Therefore, it is not affected by your acid breath. Oh, well. Well, I guess this is my life now. Well, uh, I rolled <laughs> so twenty on the dagger... athletics checks to grapple. Your dagger uh, dangles off the you know, like it just bounces off. It doesn't do anything to it. You're we took six like damage. He... Oh god! He catches it as it like circles back at him because because he knows how to throw, throw shit. Yeah, yeah. You get a ricochet off the wall. Can we? And say, Throne Arms Master, if I miss with a light weapon, it, come, it boomerangs back to me. Nice. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, and... <laughs> I grab for Grace. I wrote 20. Hey! No! What are you doing? <laughs> put me down! And let me see I, I put Grayson down right uh, about oh, here where he, he's where he can have... He, he's squirming. He's squirming. Let me see if I can get him out of this. Let's see if he can... Hey, chat, mud. let's see if we can get him out of this, right? Right, chat? Let's see if right. we can get him out of this, right, chat? <laughs> yeah, hold up, hold can up. Grayson I... Rowe... You're doing amazing, nope. sweetie. I plop him right in front of Ajax and Mudge, nope. like... Take our pick, Grayson. Son of a Here's bitch! And now they're in <laughs> I can't up. help. This is fucking skill in progress for me. Grayson, you better oh. not. Why is... Oh, there we go, there right? We Oh, wait, no, that's fireworks. Oh, wait, fireworks is still going. How about that? Hey, it's finally, it's finally done. Yeah, Dixper, fix your shit. <laughs> All right, oh, so I don't have an advantage, advantage one either. Oh, what are you giving? I do not. I don't know if I have it give target advantage or not, but I do not. Okay, well, all right, so yeah, he's stuck there now. Okay. Uh so I Good luck, <laughs> I stick out my dragonborn tongue and lick my own cheeks. Did it work? <laughs> no, it did not work. I mean, work. can you kiss yourself? No, it did not work. <laughs> can you kiss yourself? 
you know, I had this whole imaginary thing where we can be like, ho, ho, the mistletoe hung where you can see somebody waits for you, gets her once for me. But no, you guys have to pervert everything and I have to turn this into a cursed mistletoe. And you guys yeah. just have to test the theory of how cursed this mistletoe is. But yeah, this, this is our world here. This is how it works. Because, you know, Jubilee awesome. is all about all kinds of weird superstitions. I I have a fix. Give me a minute. I mean, okay, I'm... Ajax, fuck her up. No, no, I'll kill you. I will kill you. I mean, do you do it? <laughs> yeah. No. I had a big old wet one on his nose. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. All right, you're able to move again. Ah, oh, God. Oh, oh. my. Oh Jesus! Sorry, Ajax. Like go and watch up, watch I'll the have, out. I'll get you. All of a sudden, <laughs> we hear a uh, bird-like creature come floating in here. A kinku, very familiar to all of you, as Ruth seems to be Hi, tipped Professor off Ruth. her. Hello, Hi. my idiot student. <laughs> Hello. Uh, That's Ruth. The eggnog is making me <laughs> not have a filter. Are you sure Hi, Ruth. Hi. Are you sure hey, Ruth, go, go, kiss, go, go kiss Grayson. He's stuck under the uh, the cursed <laughs> missile, so. She can, cast, can I can cook his someone, though? She casts remove curse on Grayson. <laughs> oh, thank God. Thank you, Teach. Oh, man. I'm glad uh, you oh. pushed him back under the mistletoe. Then the mistletoe disintegrates into nothing. <laughs> oh, thank God. Yay. You should definitely be Sorry. careful posting mistletoes around haphazardly. What's that? Sorry, Ajax. That didn't happen. It never happened. No harm. It happened. We have pictures. <laughs> it didn't happen. I need a lobotomy. <laughs> so, well, buddy, um, congratulations, though. Was that your first kiss? Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> oh well. Can yeah, Silvers no. have doodled the the the, the kiss <laughs> just yeah, for shits and giggles? Absolutely, you could. Could I, could I roll you, dex or something to see how good yeah, it turns yeah, out? You can make a dex or writing tools if you have it. I have. I've got navigator tools. <laughs> No. I mean, if you're gonna navigate where he plucked that kiss, go for it. <laughs> better not touch me. Look, looks good. What? Like photorealistic? Here, see, we have pictures. <laughs> no. Can I make a dex check to try to slap that out of his hands and grab it? Uh, sounds like competing athletics or acrobatics to grapple the paper. Definitely. <laughs> Athletics. I will acrobatics out of the way. Oh god damn. <laughs> Silver is just Doink. back steps. <laughs> Doink. <laughs> yeah. Silver's, Silver's is now just going to uh meow. burn it. Burn no, it. why would you want to burn this beautiful <laughs> picture made with so much effort and love? I don't want people yeah. thinking I dated someone or I'm dating someone. I Damn. Yeah. So uh, I kissed the note. <laughs> oh, well. I instead the of note, I kissed the girl. It. Yeah, it's no, I kissed the note. Oh well. <laughs> yes, everybody will learn what you did. Yeah. I'm trying oh, to think of God. a way to make that song work, but yeah. Anyway, moving on. I Mud. I did not kiss the, the deputy. No, that's it's it. never I happened. Hope my <laughs> class it, don't mind it. <laughs> oh, I mind it. <laughs> Apparently, the oh, well. minds it. Uh, anyway, guys, you continue. Now that we got out of that weird. <laughs> That's none of my business. Yeah, Ajax nobody's starts chugging about here. This, all right? Nobody talk about this. Uh, anyway, it gets Silver's a little. Mud walks over and takes a big handful of cake and mm -hmm. shoves it in his face mm -hmm. and rolls it around on his tongue. Bleh. There you go. Get that, get that bad gnome taste out of your mouth. Ajax is going to grab one of the kegs he brought and just start chugging it. Yeah, eventually you die of alcohol poisoning. Um, 
Just so as God we'll, intended. Yeah, and Death appears like, oh, you're having a party. But only Ajax sees him because he's about to die. Make a constitution <laughs> saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> so nice of you to invite me. <laughs> All right. You're not Shut dead up. yet. You're not dead yet. I'll stop right now. He says, uh, I'll see you in two hours. <laughs> two hours? What the hell? Anyway, moving on. Time uh, to be oh, reincarnated. Well, uh, Don't worry. It's just Yeah, temporary. and Charlie just oh, takes the mug of egg Ajax, you're going to get reincarnated. Though you will keep your current rate. Again? But for an hour, you're going to be a Warforge. <laughs> Don't have to change your stat. We just want you to turn into a Tin Man. To Hotford, we know him to Warforge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this Bam. is actually 1d4. Cosmetic, <laughs> cosmetic only. Well, nice knowing you, buddy. Wow. Right, for the this next sucks. three hours. <laughs> what the? I can barely... <laughs> what are you looking at? Well, you can no longer drink like that, buddy. No, 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 no. He's, God. A... He's now an autonome. <laughs> Oh, you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> it makes the most sense. <laughs> You're an auto gnome. Not what, that was not what I was intending, but chaos. It worked. <laughs> you are now an auto oh, gnome. It works so hours. well. <laughs> this must be the consequences of my actions. Yes. Anyway. What kind of actions you'll be? All of a sudden, the Grayson comes over and starts tinkering with you. God damn <laughs> How in the hell are you like this now? I don't get it. Don't touch that. That is my heart. No, no, no. Hold on. That, that, look, he pulls out a screwdriver. I could totally take these rivets out here and then we could see what's on the, on the inside. What do you say? I say, go do screw it. yourself. I would rather. Wait, that sounds perverted. Never mind. You're right. I don't want anything uh -huh. to do with you. Screw. You, you ratchety old clank. <laughs> oh my god. Well, all right. So, uh, presents, 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 anybody? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, we get, it gets to the point where you all eventually get tired of eating cake and maybe you don't. I don't know. That's all on you. Uh, eating I all the junk digest. food. Yeah, well, that's too bad. Uh, and you guys, um, want to exchange gifts? Did anybody get a gift for somebody in the party that is currently here? <laughs> well, you know, you gotta get no. for Lindsay. Or at for me. You gotta so get got everyone a, like, a small little ball of yarn. Perfect. Oh, thanks, right. buddy. So Silver gives everybody a small bit of yarn. That's nice. Anybody yarn! Else, anybody else want to give anybody <laughs> anything? I want to save Charlie and Lindsay for last because of Lindsay. But, um, anybody else? I, I give pull out a, a fresh bucket of mud and oh. walk around <laughs> each and every one of you and take a handful of mud and place it into your palm. Uh, Lindsay uh, steps thanks. back away <laughs> and lets the mud fall uh, to the floor. I give Greta a dumbbell. Uh, are you trying to say something, Ajax? <laughs> hey, what's you know, with the mud? <laughs> I, I'm sharing. I was taught to share. Sharing is caring. I can't even use this. I didn't honestly know what to get you, so I just picked something up from my room. <laughs> <laughs> but why did you get me anything? Like, I thought you hated me. I don't hate you. Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> well. What are you uh, guys staring at? She got like big friendship. Oh. Uh, <laughs> she grabs something out of your room. She just kind of like starts digging around in her pockets. Let me see what she has. <laughs> <laughs> she pulls out a. Crowbar and hands it to you. Gotcha times one. Why you is there blood item. on it? Here you go. <laughs> no, no, maybe it's not a crowbar. It is a thrice keel hauled barnacle. <laughs> this will go great with my rabbit's cage. 
Yep, Mary, Mary Jubilee. <laughs> she answered Mary. all cute. They really need to workshop that name, Mary Jubilee. Mary, probably it's not the right word. Uh, happy Jubilee. Joyful Jubilee. Joy to the Jubilee. <laughs> anyway, here you go. Your barnacle. And thanks for the dumbbell, dumbbell. Yep. Oh, <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> You're a good kid, Ajax. You're a good kid too, Greta. I'm not a kid, I'm a dwarf. Mm -hmm. You're a good person. There you go. That's close enough. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then Greta starts giving everybody random items from her back. <laughs> uh, a hemp and rope to silvers. A um, what else we got here? Big yard. Yeah, yeah, you get you big yard. Uh, she gives a hand axe to Charlie. Uh, oh, thanks. She gives some arrows to Jerry. She gives. Thanks. She gives a tinder box to Mud. Sweet. <laughs> and Fire. she gives Ajax some rations also to go with his barnacles. <laughs> nice. I, I can't eat these, but thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Charlie is like that one uncle that at Christmas does not bring you presents, but it gives everyone like five gold. <laughs> just like, there you go, gold. kids. And I, I don't know what to buy you. Just, just don't here is five like... gold. I it's have like, like 300 like, gold. That's like 50 bucks in American money, right? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that's about. I mean, 50 bucks for Christmas is pretty much what the uncle gives you. Like, he just lifts you 50. Like, go, 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 kids. Go buy, like, I don't know, ice cream or some shit. Well, as many nieces and nephews as I have, I am definitely not giving him 50 bucks each. I'd be broke. <laughs> there you go. I'd be more generous than you. Yeah, well, I'm heartless too, so it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> I'll use this to like upgrade myself or something, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you did that, buddy. Thank you. All right, and anybody else got anybody anything? Not in the party. Jerry just wants to receive, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, yep. Jerry. Jerry didn't get anybody anything. He's expecting gifts, not not giving them. Um, Jerry, Jerry can't even mystery. like give gold, like. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, moving on here. So basically, Lindsay go kind of like pulls Charlie into the center of the area, and um, yeah, just like signs to you. Do you want to exchange gifts now? Oh yeah, sure. Uh... Uh -huh. Okay, uh, here, I got you this. Uh, Charlie pulls out, uh, let me see what's in the, my inventory. A glamour study letter armor. There you go. It's magic armor. Probably better than the one you have right now. Maybe. Uh, she takes it and smiles and gives you a quick hug. And then uh, she pulls oh, from her cool. satchel a, uh, a wrapped item. Uh, it's probably, like, Oh, damn, wrapping paper, thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she gave you wrapping <laughs> paper. Uh, the object is about six by three with about six by three by four, something like that. Like, it's like, like book size, a big book size of object. And uh, she hands oh it to you, wait for you to open it. And she signs to you. you, you're supposed to open it. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, I, I didn't know what I was supposed to do. It's like a box. Uh, Charlie open opens it. the book, like really, really no, awkward, it, like opens not, the, it's, the it's box. Not, it's not, uh, yeah. So you open up the package, and inside you see a silk scarf that seems to wrap around an object underneath it. Uh, the silk scarf seems like. Oh, damn, a scarf! And as you pull the scarf up, there's a journal that she has given you as well. Oh, damn, a journal. Nice. Now I can have a diary. But it's already written. And in this journal, it says the diary of the doll maker's love. Though oddly named, 
The story contained in here is from another timeline where Lindsay exists. Would you like for me to embark this lovely story to you real quick? God damn it, Lindsay, you told me that you, wasn't, that you weren't his reincarnated lover. <laughs> Would you like to hear the story or not? <laughs> yes! <laughs> so, in her words, she writes, I was sent back only to watch an aging old man take his last breath. There I knew he was who I was betrothed to before my death. The gods are so cruel in their way, toying with this man after so much. I gave him his last rites, though I found I could not speak to him. My voice taken from me. I spent time adjusting to the new life and realized I was a construct. A porcelain warforge whose voice is tied to a final thread of certainty in a web of fate. This one is strange, but it comes through the adventures I had with a group in Time War. Though I can barely remember their names, I swore I saw some of them re in recent days as I, was, as I find myself here at Ivanera. Upon these adventures, the city was under siege by undead armies of a vampire known as Van. He sent his pet, the Maven of Puppets, to take control of the main army forces. Though the adventurers managed to break away the form of the pulsing blue energy that remained... Oh, apparently I can't spell or read. Though the adventurers managed to break away the form, a pulsing blue energy remained. Apparently I forgot a comma unfazed and continued to wreak havoc it was then i knew my purpose a word of power my voice spoke that day and it was the word vanquish and as i broke away into a thousand shards of porcelain the energy was vanquished and put to an end i was mourned by many and i was told as i found it, my soul brought to a plane between life and death it was known that as the ethereal bleed and though i was technically dead i became an agent there helping rescue lost adventurers who forgot their names in and past in hopes to return them to a better state soon i was created i was greeted by a strange benefactor in the bleed who acknowledged my efforts and offered me a chance to return once more and here i am still a warforged though given shape in a world i just finally became able to understand and enjoy it was all fun time and I spent teaching those around me to speak with sign language and those close to me who wish to keep me safe, in turn I hope to do the same. Especially the one known as Charlie. She is her own worst enemy and I want to stand next to her whenever she needs to face herself in trying times. I wish to bring real to her woes. May the one who blessed me in the bleed know of my happiness. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> yes. And she kind of like Charlie. smiles, hoping that you like it. <laughs> oh, you wrote fan fiction of that book about the doll maker that uh, that I found in the library the other day. That's nice, honey. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> I don't know if it now dawns upon you that, I mean, did you already know she was Warforged? Remember that time that Charlie specifically asked, are you, are you, what race Lindsay was in Lindsay? She, she was human, and I did an insight check, and even so, you assure me she was human. Charlie just looks at Lindsay and she's like, Why did you lie to me? <laughs> That's what gets you. <laughs> Why did you lie to me? <laughs> it was. What it, mm, let me think of for me. Let me think how she's going to phrase this. She says to you in sign language, you are your own worst enemy. I didn't want to scare you. Why would they be scared of a Warforged? <laughs> I, I, we have a Warforged teacher. I'm not even scared of him. There are other reasons. <laughs> Never mind. I just didn't think at the time. That's not. That's okay. That's okay. I can <laughs> Charlie just a lot of support and she's and she's trying very hard not to say that oh so I really did cuck that guy so she's like mm. no the, the the guy died dude like you didn't cuck him he oh already, yeah, yeah he got he yeah, got, he, doesn't, got doesn't he got he got cucked by the gods what are you talking about like they made him suffer it's a, it's and he's like it I doesn't wish... count because he died uh, yeah, he, he did and he then... did. yeah <laughs> he, he did he did that's she that's... died she got reborn. <laughs> She's now Jesus that, Christ. Um, um, <laughs> is she the one who takes all, all the Thridonite people out of the bleed? The who people? 
All everyone from Friday night. Uh, not in the recent Friday, but the seasons before it was her. Oh. Uh, uh. Cause uh, yeah, at oh, that thanks. time, she, that timeline was when she actually was that agent. You guys will probably okay. know who this Friday's maiden is. <laughs> Go ahead, sorry. It's gonna be Shishay, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't wait for her to give a speech about it. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> well, I, you know, Charlie just like can't him. She's just like... And then, you, and then she's just like, Thanks, Lindsay, for telling me the truth. After I ask you multiple times. I just maintain the ideal. As I was instructed yeah. to by my benefactor. Wait, what? She could only help me if I claimed that I was human. Yeah, okay, uh... Charlie don't, just don't uh, don't worry about the details. Yeah, she's like, she's like, don't worry about the details. Yeah, she's just, just like, yeah, I look. Let's take a break for the holidays while I figure out what the fuck is going on because I just learned a lot of things that I didn't know. Do you and I feel kind of like <laughs> she says, "Do you hate me now?" <laughs> no, I just, I just, I just kind of confused. All right. Well. Anybody else got anything or want to try to jump th jump that? Otherwise, I will go into my holiday speech and we might end the session soon. Uh, I have a gift for um, Daffenberg. Yeah, I gave you a chance to give it to him, but Daffenberg is over there drinking ale and getting hammered. So, <laughs> well, I mean, it is a hammer, so. Well, okay, <laughs> fair. Tell you what, I'll have Daffenberg drunkenly come in here and see what the hell's going on with you damn kids, because Ruth did, right? Mm-hmm. All right, so Daffenberg comes in here after the lovely exchange from uh, Lindsay and um, Charlie in, and he goes, What the hell are you kids up to? Why is there mud and cake all over the place? Uh, mud. Chaos? Yeah. Sounds Don't right. worry about it. Yeah, it sounds Yo, like And there's awesome. also cake all over mud. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes way too much sense. All what's right, up, kids. Oh, well, what's going on, little man? Are you doing all right? Why yeah, are you... I'm a robot now. Yeah, how did the hell... What? Man, hold on a second. He pulls up his flask. What the hell did they put in this shit? And he starts guzzling uh... it down, thinking it's the good shit. <laughs> Okay, I got, I got you. Uh, that's okay. I got you. Uh, ah, for, what do you got? Yo, I got uh, this, and he takes out a silver uh, hammer. If I can get, pull up the freaking thing. Uh, a silver hammer with an ashwood handle and an anvil carved on the side of the hammer, with fire spewing from the top of it. Okay, hold on. I forged he, he look he, Oh, he looks at it, right? So, um, did I have I you can roll? Did I did, did I roll you or did I have you roll your forge for it? Like the like, what did you roll? Do you remember or do you An have 18. it? Eighteen. Eighteen. All right. Yeah. He he pulls it up into his eyes and he's like looking it over, flips it over. Hmm, decent craftsmanship, but. Little light in the centerpiece of this hammer here. Overall, though, it could still achieve the mission that it was sent to do. Good job, kid. He ruffles your metallic hair. <laughs> Ow, that hurts. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I have hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, do you? I don't know. Your, your picture robot. has hair, so I assume you had hair. <laughs> yeah. It's just a Brillo pad at this point. <laughs> huh. Well, I'm glad you enjoy the gift. Uh, we should probably get you back to the party. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah hold on a second. Let me see here. And he pulls out a timepiece. 
Yeah, sure, this will work. And he hands you a pocket watch. It's like a gold embroidery. Has like also like an anvil emblem on the front of it. I got this whenever I retired from the forge back in my hometown. Why don't you take care of it for me? Thank you. Yeah, happy mm. jubilee and shit. Yeah. Alright, kids, uh, I'm getting out of here. Nobody's dying, right? Like, they told me that they saw death two minutes ago, and I, I'm like, that can't be right. Uh, mm. Speaking of gifts, I actually do have gifts for you. What? <laughs> I just want to give you a little scare. Uh, I have these candles, if anyone wants them. Candles? Yeah, candles. They bring you, like, lights. Something uh -huh. you light with. Like, uh, put on a birthday cake. Great. Well, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'll take no. one and I want to tear out my tinderbox. <laughs> yeah, a no. candle for you, a candle for you. You know, guys, I'd pay to see a drunk Hoover. You would? How much you willing to pay? <laughs> <laughs> this is now me out of character above table. <laughs> like, hey, my PayPal account's right there if you want to see this drunk Hoover. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but at any rate, uh, so, as Jerry starts uh, handing out candles to everybody, is there anything else you're doing? Nah, Charlie's just having like a mental breakdown in the corner. I <laughs> knew, I, I knew <laughs> I'd get you. Look, it could have been ten times worse <laughs> if we continued. I was going to kill Lindsay. Anyway, Jubilee Night, a roar uh. can be heard atop of the roof. Thunderous claws clang and down comes some soot. From the darkness within, a jelly man appears, dressed in red and full of jubilee cheer. A present he presents, one for you and me. A present we get for being true and free. With a wiggle of his nose and a wiggle of his chinny chin chin, his long white beard bellows as his cheek shimmers his grin. All the candles still lit for the night. He takes up the cookies and then he takes flight. Up to the roof you hear claws click. Give me my cookies or I quit this shit. A dragon's voice booms <laughs> and speaks of ill and doom. But Jubilee hands over the cookies and then it is soothed. With a thud on the roof and once more with pose, a giant red dragon rises up from above. Hear me now and hear me with intent. Forget my cookies and you'll all be dismissed. With a harrow of warning and a sneer to his face, Jubilee chuckles, continuing his race across all nations and off the divide. Happy Jubilee. Happy Yuletide. And happy Jubilee, guys. Merry Christmas. Yay. Merry I hope Christmas. you enjoyed your seasonal uh, trauma. <laughs> <laughs> well, Charlie is now going to be single for New Year, so that'll be interesting. And, yep. And then she's just I just want to get the taste of Ajax out of my mouth. <laughs> I <want to> forget. <laughs> Meanwhile, Lindsay's in a corner and she just whispers the word broken and starts falling to pieces. Uh moving on though. Oh <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize how much I would break Charlie, but so it seems the truth doesn't say see, she should have just kept lying. I don't know why I started telling the truth now. Says Lindsay if she to had herself. told the truth at first, this wouldn't have happened. Well, People lie all the time. And sometimes they do it for a reason. And I just can't come up with her reason. I'm sure it's a good one. At any rate, <laughs> if we come back yeah, to I Ivan Hoover. Up more as human than as a Warforged. Yeah, maybe she wants you to love her as a human and not a Warforged. Then, but why then she lied later on when I read the book and asked if she, she lied as long as she. No, right, well, because she didn't want to say anything then. And then she put her thoughts into a book. And then she handed it to you, and here's her thoughts, and you just rejected her gift. Anyway, moving on. Uh, yeah, she, she, because she lied to me, so I'm like, yeah, no, oh, okay. I, now, I can be now, in a relationship, now, I can't trust now, you. That's all right. Just tell me the Red, truth. Look, Red is available. You can go ask her out next, next season. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> at any rate, I'm not going to sit here and argue when I'm trying to do an outro. Yeah, this was just to be a little cheap little, or not cheap, but uh, a little session here. To come back to Ivanera, visit with everybody, kind of like let you have this holiday moment we were supposed to have right before we ended, uh, right around the holidays. Uh, so, with that being said, my friends, uh, 
yeah, I hope you had fun. I hope you had fun revisiting Ivan Era. And if you want Ivan Era to be a thing, I don't know. You guys are going to have to be able to, in mass, bother me in DMs and stuff and actually show up for the event. So if you guys want to do a dedicated trip to Ivan Era, we're going to need some good people to hang out there at the very beginning because we need to get the population up. Anyway, it's a, it, not doing any of that till after January, if ever. We'll see. <clears throat> Uh, we'll be playing some uh, Seven Days to Die, hopefully tomorrow. Uh, we are going to do the Where's UK mod, and we're adding the uh, farming uh, thing he's got. He's got a farming mod that he's put out, and I figure, well, we'll just add it to the Where's UK and start a new map, see what happens. So join us for that, and also, if you guys would like to play in an open role play every Friday night at 6 p.m., we are going to be playing D&D &D every time here. For as long as the season, at least. We'll see how things go. Uh, exclamation mark help at Twitch or kick. We'll give you a link to the game, a link to the Discord, and a link to a character mancer video. If anything, join our Discord. Be part of our community. We would love to have you. Uh, we're going to go find someone to raid. And you guys can wish them a merry jubilee. And do they hear the calling? Say goodnight to Twitch and kick, guys. Good night. Bye, everyone. Good night. Good night. Happy Festivus. And, uh, yeah, we will catch you tomorrow night. Make sure you tune in for some channel points. And, uh, like I said, make sure you ask them, uh, do you hear the calling? Mm hmm Oh, right oh, there. On the, on the roof of that building right there. On my ping.